Hey everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Noob to Expert tutorial, where I am the noob and Scott is the expert. No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, you just told me how you are going to win over the whole British Raj and end the war single-handedly. It's all on stream. I know. No, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, okay. No, you know, just, just saying. Um, there are some airports over here, but no good ones. That's a good one. Let me give you some some air support. Seven hundred fighters should be good. A little. I have a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, Burma. Yeah, probably into Burma. That looks good. This general area. Okay. So that should support your push into the rush a little bit. I need most of my fighters over France, but you know I can spare oh, yeah. those for now. Well, I'm. I started another uh, heavy tank. So as they're getting produced, I'm just sending them right up to uh, the, the French line. That's good. So uh, they got a commander. He's got one battalion so far. So I'm just gonna take all my division. twenty tanks that I have. I converted some more to medium tanks now. I have six of those. Six medium tank divisions, and I'm gonna send them to the Italian border into France. And then we're gonna push as soon as they're there. Here we go. Croatia has accepted our invite to faction, that is very good. So, all of you, just clear this up, please. And then I'm taking all of these, putting you on here. Delete that. Yeah, 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 something. Let's do that. Take all of these. Make a new front line. No. Make a new front line right here and have them go here. So I can delete that one. And you just go here. And that is shift click. That. And go. Perfect. That should have worked. Yeah, everything good? Mm, good. And more research done. All the research done. Oh, God. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, that's too early. Let's start over here. Construction? Nah. We need that. That's a no-brainer. Already behind on that one. Could get radar. It's probably a little bit late. You know what? I'm starting atomic research now. <laughs> <laughs> This does not surprise me. No, not really. Alright. So what you want to watch now, uh, on your right-hand side, where your theater list is, yes. right? below that you should have some blue bars. I with... have four of them. Mm -hmm. Does any one of those say naval invasion? Uh, no. Good, I because have you're... two aircraft for uh, the Western yep. Baltic, South France, and then two skulls for Eastern Mediterranean and Tyrian Sea. Good. Uh, because you already had a naval invasion <laughs> in Sardinia, okay. so you missed that one. Yeah, there's French troops landing in Sardinia. Doesn't matter, let them have it. Ah. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Uh, like I said, it's it's a uh, tutorial, so we're, we're not caring about all the nifty little details. But yeah, that's one of the things that happens. You get naval invasions. Uh, also, you are... Well, you do have territory in Africa, you know, Ethiopia. Yes. Um, you're probably going to lose all of that, because you don't have troops there, and the UK is just going to walk in there. Right. Again, since it's a tutorial, don't, just don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not no use. Not really. Oh, wow, how many troops are there? That's 30 troops manning the Maginot. That's almost real World War II. They're all there waiting for me, and I'm just not coming. I'm coming through the Alps. <laughs> South of Switzerland. Awesome. Uh, tanks, go, push. See, everything turns green. That's how fast you can do it. Uh, tanks should be set to aggressive. Yes, regular army goes back to regular. I'm 260,000 infantry equipment plus. I'm doing fine. Thank you. Who has declared war? 
Anything I should be aware of? Mm, no. Nothing bad. It's all good. Nothing new. Oh yeah, we're pushing into France. Look at that push. Ooh, look at that. Mm. I dig it. And we could do some nice stuff, like encirclements and all of that. It's, I'm not overly worried. Just take you. Come down here. Overrun a whole stack of troops right there. Yugoslavia has capitulated, which is what started this war. Go in there, do things. So what? what is enemy here now? That piece down there. Do this. Siam is now in the war. Spain wants to send volunteers. Sure. Oh yeah, Belgium. Right. That's the thing. Finally, let's walk through Belgium, as I've always intended to do. Yeah, I'm digging this. <laughs> Bye, France. Just right-click. Take the tanks and right-click. You're all done here? Almost. All the British troops here. Oh, nice. Yeah, you've you've lost Sardinia pretty much. Is it Sardinia? Yeah, it's Sardinia. I always mix it up with Sicily, with it, which is down here. But who cares? Sixteen divisions in here. You're not gonna last. You go on here. Are you taking troops away here now? Can I just enact all the plans? Yes, I can. It's not gonna work too nicely, but. It's working a little bit. That's already enough for me. There's not enough troops up here, it seems. Ooh, yeah. Eight divisions from Nationalist Spain have arrived. Uh, can Hungary do this by themselves? Yes, they can. So these come up here. Extra research slot. Thank you very much. That's exactly what I needed. And Wunderwaffe, which will give me nuclear technology research bonus. Very, very nice. What are we going to research now? Uh, that. Way behind on that. Mm, can I take like these and push into here to unify the front line a little? Well, it's almost over anyway. I've taken Paris. Oh, come on. You guys. Go and take Bordeaux. And you tank push on to Calais. And there's France. Stop the game! We've taken out France! How about that? Alright. <laughs> Little more excitement, please. No, I'm just trying to... I got like a dozen things, <laughs> icons across the top of my screen. I'm just trying to pay attention oh, to everything. Yeah, go, go through them. You have the time. Ah, uh, manpower. Okay. <laughs> Luxembourg is just sitting there doing nothing. It's so amazing. Uh, how is my defense army? 27 dudes in there. That's good. So I'm going to extend you over here. How do you set up a Coast Guard deal again? There's two ways of doing this. You can draw a defensive line all along the coast, or you can give them a garrison order and just say uh, defend coastline and um, thing, naval bases, okay. which I'm actually going to do now because yeah, this is ridiculous. Garrison area, there you go. This, this, all of this. Do you count separately here? I can't remember. Doesn't look like it. Uh, this. There you go. That should be good. That's all of the western coast. 
And we're not going to do that, 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 or that. Just that. We need 57 divisions for that. So we're probably going to take a couple of these. All the low lives down here. And assign them over. That's 50. Still not enough. I just got to there. Green guys, do we have any more green guys in here? No, the rest is pretty much experts. Over there. So, main army is 74, I have 65 in Coast Guard, and I have 20 tanks, which are not doing anything. That needs to be changed. Uh, they're aggressive anyway, it doesn't matter. Here you go. Okay, orders are given. Somebody takes care of that. That doesn't really matter to me. It's fine. Probably don't even own most of that province, so I can't give it to you. Italy should be fairly big now. You should have all the factories in the world. Um. Because you own France. That's why I attacked from problem. your territory. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. You even get Belgium in a minute here. Okay, let's 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 roll. Let's finish this. Well, I did kind of help too. You know, like yeah, said, yeah, yeah. Of nice. course. And I mean, you're getting all the rush. That's why you have the territory close to the rush there, so you can get it. Uh, Japan seems to be pushing into French into China, which is not that good. Mm. But you're pushing into the rush. That's at least something there. Oh wow, that looks weird. <laughs> that that's a weird cluster thing. Right, well then, it's about time that we talked about naval invasions as soon as Belgium is gone. Oh come on, can you just all get go in here? Don't have time for this. Just do it. Oh Japan is arriving in Normandy. That's a thing. <laughs> That, that one over there, which is not able to land. Could have waited a second and I would have had that port, but yeah. Belgium has capitulated, and Europe is free. Except for Luxembourg. Marines researched. Thank you very much. See, that was planned. All of that. <laughs> I already have Marines researched. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I, I, I need them exactly right now. now. So that's yeah. perfect. Okay, let's have a look at this. Marine Research 1 unlocks Marines. They do need... All the specialists need more infantry equipment than the regular army. Twice as much, pretty, pretty much. So if you use cavalry, if you use... I think it goes for, for mechanized as well, but mechanized is special because, you know, they need mechanized. Um, but definitely cavalry, so horses, uh, marines, mountaineers, and paratroopers, they use more equipment. So while it is a decent idea to just have all your army be mountaineers and marines because they get different bonuses, it's probably not the best idea when you actually don't have the production capacity there. Uh, they do get their bonus here, marines for 30% attack on marsh, 40 on river, and 50 on amphibious, which is what we're looking for. If we go for marines 2... We just get a flat bonus on organization and soft attack. Now organization is key here, same as soft attack. I'm going to start the research right now. Because when you do a naval invasion, there's two ways to do this. You can either invade into a port, which is probably defended, and the chance of getting that on your first try is not that high, or you can attack just somewhere. So I could attack Dover directly, or Portsmouth directly, or that tile, that province in between. Now, if I attack that tile in between, and I manage to land successfully, I do not have a port, so I will not get supply for my marines. I will have a beachhead, and I will need to use that beachhead to go either to the west or to the east and actually get Portsmouth or Dover. I need to have a port, otherwise these marines will not have supply. And if they get attacked in that province, they will need 
to use up their organization and their equipment. And as soon as they run out of organization, they get overrun because they can't re-equip and they can't um, recuperate from that. So that's the, the, the crux about naval invasions. Now, how do you do naval invasions? Uh, first of all, let's go into our templates. When you research marines, you already get a marine template, which is usually crap. Like, there's four in there. Uh, let's put one more in there. Actually, you know, let's let's just fill that up to a full combat width of 20, because our infantry does full combat width of 20. There you go. And you can add uh, support companies to that. So I'm going to definitely add uh, engineers for, you know, digging in. And, come on, pop up for all the extra movement and defense bonus here. Marsh, river, amphibious, an extra 25% on amphibious attack. When you already get plus 50, heck yeah, you want that. So we're now at plus 75. Gorgeous, it says it right here. What else? Support artillery for the extra defense and extra soft attack when we actually want to push into a harbor? Yes, sure. Um, maintenance? We don't have tanks, we don't need maintenance. Recon company? Extra movement speed? It's not too bad, but we also get extra defense and we also get extra soft attack. It all you know, comes down to losing organization for getting something else. And I think... Yeah, we're gonna do that. What else could we put on there? Signal company. More initiative. Let's, uh, let's us attack and reinforce better. And gives us an extra HP. Ooh. But we're losing two organization for that as well. So now I think that is okay. Uh, you get elite status, which means you get your supply equipment first which makes sure when they actually embark upon their journey, they do have all the equipment and don't start with like 80% equipped. Uh, we're going to save that. That's our Marines. And instead of training them, we're now going to just take some of these and make them into Marines. Now, do we have some good ones like these? Yes, we do. Is that all of it? I thought we had more. I guess they were just reinforced and lost some of their status here. Uh, definitely you, you, not you, you. Let's get a total of ten. We have three, four. Also, no, I want some with a high um, experience progress bar, because once you modify them, you will drop down in experience. And these look okay. Ten. There you go. New army become marines now perfect yeah they the the veterans lost their status they're now regulars but the regulars are still regulars they didn't drop down to uh the the, the green guys what are you those trained good you will get a commander obviously a good one um it's not worth it what are you out of supply minus 50 percent that's perfect for marines. Having a little, of a, supply, a little bit of a supply status issue here. Okay, we are going to attack. Now, you click on Naval Invasion Order, click on the port you're going from, and then click on right-click on where you want to go, for example here. Once you're done, you click Enter, and then you've given the order. Now we get, need to go through the English Channel if we were to do this, which means we need a naval superiority in the channel, which we are not going to get. So this is not a thing. We're not going to do that. We're going to go from here, and we're going to attack into here, which means we need to go through this zone up here, which is the Eastern North Sea and the North Sea. So these two we can actually get um, superiority way easier. Which we're going to do right now. Here's our submarines. We're going to take those on convoy escort so they protect our troops. And we're just going to right click these two. And they're now going. Now we do have more of a navy uh, right here. And they are on convoy raiding currently. So click on harbor so they stop. And then give them those two. You can still go through here, right? Yeah, you can. We should probably base them somewhere here. Yeah, right here. Uh, control, right click. 
So if they have to go to repairs, they don't need to go through the straight and repair over here. They are just right here where the action actually happens. Good. We're also going to use some fighters to cover these areas. If naval engagement happens, fighter bonus is definitely a thing you want to have. And we're set to go. The thing to keep in mind here is if we look at our research... Not that one, that one. At the very bottom here, where we have transport. If you don't have the transport ship research, the first one, you can't even do a naval invasion. Once you have that, you have a capacity of 10, and we have selected 10 troops. Uh, the next one over here will up that by plus 40, so we can send 50 people at once. We get more invasion defense, and we need less invasion preparation time, so you want that as soon as possible. And we could actually do that, because we are in 1940. Next thing I want to do. And then the last one, Advanced Landing Craft, will give you another 100 people, so you're up to 150. 50% 50 defense bonus, and 25% speed bonus on top of that. Which is really nice, you want those. The, the better the, they are the better you can go, right? Okay, how are you doing in the rush over there? Everything fine? You um, seem to be winning. Yeah, it's, it's getting there. Yeah, the north is definitely winning, that looks good. I, Don't really I, seem to have supply issues dead. there. Down south, so with the France and the other one, and then the Russian. Yeah, well, it's... I just I'm trying to pull everybody back together and straighten all that mess out. It's it's going though. Well, yeah. you, you can do before we start the next episode because we're at the end of this one anyway. So no worries. Yeah, yeah. All right. So for those on the stream, don't go anywhere. We will uh, continue for at least one more. For those watching the video, it's you know for you it's too late. You just missed the stream. So that's why you have to follow me on Twitter, and then you can catch the next live stream. I'll announce them there. You know, at least half an hour in advance. And mostly my schedule is pretty fixed. So once you catch the streams for once, you will know when they are usually. That's for this episode. Don't forget to justify a subscriber goal and blitzkrieg the like button. I'm Scripter, he's Scott. We are at war. You are dismissed. <laughs>